Hi you two, welcome to your guided reading lesson for today. Who can remember our vipers? There are six vipers. We have our V viper for vocabulary. We have our I viper for inference, our P viper for prediction, our E viper for explain, our R viper for retrieve, and our S viper for sequence. Today, we are going to be focusing on our P viper. So we're going to be predicting um, what our story is about. Uh, we are looking at our I viper, which is our inference skills. So the answer isn't in the text. We need to use clues in the text and think about things that we all um, already know. And the last one is our V viper, which is vocabulary. So we'll be working out what some words mean and explaining what those words mean. So your first question is your P viper question. What do we think this book is about? So it's called Amazing Powers. And there's lots of pictures here of superheroes. Hmm, what could this book be about? And why do you think the book is about that? Before we start reading the book, we can see that it has a contents page. Who can remember what a contents page is for? What do we use a contents page for? That's right, it tells us where to find things in the book. It gives us the page numbers of where we can find the information that we are looking for. So, this is the introduction. It's not easy being a superhero. It takes great courage for a hero to put his or her life on the line to fight evil villains and defend innocent people. But superheroes are men, women and creatures with extraordinary abilities. And that's your second question and it's a V Viper question. I would like you to tell me what you think the word extraordinary means. Extraordinary, what could that mean? Thinking about what that word looks like, if it sounds like anything else, what does the word extraordinary mean? Read on and meet some of the bravest superheroes around. Discover how they got their amazing powers and find out how they put them into action. But beware, evil supervillains are always lurking just around. The Amazing Spider-Man. I forgot to mention, this is really going to help you with your big right this week. Okay, so take on board all of these interesting facts about superheroes. Spider-Man is the secret superhero identity of high school student Peter Parker. While Peter Parker is shy, nerdy and not very strong, Spider-Man is the complete opposite. Spider-Man is strong, fast, agile, and not afraid to take on bad guys. Like a spider, he can stick to almost any surface, which means Spider-Man is great at climbing walls and tall buildings. However, Peter Parker's brains are also useful for Spider-Man, and it was thanks to his brilliance that Spidey developed the ability to shoot webs from his wrists. That's so cool. Fantastic friends. Although he usually works alone, sometimes even Spider-Man needs a little help. The superhero team known as the Fantastic Four, I'm sure lots of you have heard of them, are some of the greatest allies. The Fantastic Four are Mr. Fantastic, his wife, the Invisible Woman, her brother, the Human Torch, and, fam and finally, the Rock Hard Thing, like Spider-Man, the Fantastic Four were not born with their powers. During a space mission, the team were exposed to cosmic radiation, which mutated their bodies. And that's your third question. It's another V Viper question, vocabulary. What does the word mutated mean? Hmm, so if we read back over the sentence, during a space mission, the team were exposed to cosmic radiation, which mutated their bodies. 
So using the clues in the text, what do we think the word mutated means? Mr. Fantastic. Even before he was transformed into Mr. Fantastic, Reed Richards was a special person. He was a respected inventor and scientific genius. One of his most ambitious projects was building a starship, but little did he imagine that his dream of exploring the stars would lead him to develop superpowers. After his exposure to cosmic radiation, Reed developed elastic abilities. Mr. Fantastic can flatten his body so that it has, so that it is as thin as paper. Wow. Or stretch it up to 450 metres. He can bend his body into useful shapes, such as a parachute or a tent. And it doesn't hurt one bit. However, Mr. Fantastic may have superhero stretching powers, but he only has the strength of an ordinary man. How interesting. The Invisible Woman. Sue Storm was originally an actress, but her life took a different direction when she volunteered for a space mission with Reed Richards. Since she first became the Invisible Woman, Sue's powers have developed further. These days, she can not only make herself invisible, but she can also project energy to make other people and objects invisible too. That would be so cool. Sue can also project energy to make protective force fields. The Human Torch. Little did Johnny Storm know that visiting his big sister would change his life. When he returned from that fateful space mission, Johnny discovered that the cosmic rays had altered his genetic structure. He can now generate a fiery plasma which covers his entire body without so much as a singeing a, singeing a hair. As the human torch, Johnny can fly and he can also release a burst of energy with as much force as a nuclear weapon. And this question is an inference question and it's why do we think Johnny is called the human torch? Okay, you need to explain why is he called the human torch. The thing. Sports loving Ben Grimm met brilliant scientist Reed Richards at university and the mismatched pair soon became best friends. After college, Ben joined the US Air Force and became a pilot. So when Reed started planning a mission into space, Ben was the obvious choice to pilot his spacecraft. After the disastrous mission, Ben was transformed into the thing. And that is your last question. And it's a V vocabulary question. I would like you to explain what the word transformed means. Okay, so if we go back and read the sentence, after the disastrous, disastrous mission, Ben was transformed into the thing. So using clues in the text, explain what the word transformed means. The thing, a creature with superhuman strength and endurance, although his rock hard exterior can withstand bullets, extreme temperatures, the depths of the ocean and even space travel, the thing has a very kind heart. And there is lots more facts about superheroes in this book, but we're going to run out of time. So I'm not going to read them all to you. And I'm sure you're going to find out more facts uh, during the week yourself with the other tasks that we will have set for you. So all of this needs to be completed um, in your books. Uh, I'll be putting up a sheet that can be printed if you have a printer. Otherwise, you just need to write the answers in your um, home learning books. Take a picture and upload it onto Class Dojo. Um, this book will also be your reading comprehension quiz as well on Google Classroom. So hopefully you listened well and that will be able to help you answer some of the questions in your quiz. Okay, good luck year two and I will see you soon.